it's cherry blossom season so because it looks so pretty outside and it's all pink i am wearing pink today too to match and it is sailor moon time second part of the styling and we're gonna start with haruka today if you've seen sailor moon you probably know haruka you probably love haruka who doesn't she's a very interesting character i really like her and michiru they're really fun and entertaining as a couple you know what it's just some couples usually in shows i'm like kind of i don't know i get kind of bored by a lot of couples in shows because they don't have any chemistry whatsoever but this two they really do and they're really fun and i love both of their styles like for example i love this suit that haruka wears a lot she wears it in a lot of episodes and what i like the most about this outfit is the way that the way that the fabric folds and the way that it moves in general for example, like here you can tell when she puts her hand in her pocket the way that it folds, it's really nice because like these types of suits, they can look really tacky and bad not this types of suit in particular, but just suits in general something about suits is just can look really good and, can, and it can look really bad depending on what kind of fabric the suit is made out of and who's wearing it i guess um and with haruka i feel like this outfit is it's obviously a drawn picture but it feels like it's a very high quality suit or high quality fabric that was picked by somebody who knows a lot about fashion in terms of its not just design but its architectural qualities in terms of the fabric and the material behaving in the way that it's supposed to for specific designs and even though it's really simple i really do like it she wears a few color variations of this outfit it's not always the same color sometimes it's like this light greens this is an image from the manga she wears a lot of suits in general and i watched that um clip i haven't watched crystal yet but i've seen clips of crystal and i watched that clip where haruka kisses usagi <laughs> This, do you remember that um, moment from Community where the Dean is like, that better not awaken anything in me? That was me when I was watching it. I was like, oh. Anyway, the thing with Haruka is that usually she is with Michiru. That's the thing that we're gonna also talk about when I'm gonna be showing images of Michiru is that most of the images are going to be of them together. And a lot of their styles or not styles, but some of the outfits that they choose to wear are matching. They're matching in terms of usually the style, but it's just kind of on different spectrums of uh, femininity versus masculinity of that kind of outfit. For example, in this image, both of them are wearing coats and those coats are quite classic classic in terms of the style but Michiru is wearing a very feminine version of it and Haruka is, is wearing something that is quite masculine well in terms of canon I would say that it's not like Haruka always wears masculine clothes my god there's like so many petals just like flowing by my window it's so pretty it's not that she only wears very masculine clothes, she wears outfits that are feminine as well but as we know she's kind of both as she does switch around quite a bit but I guess that in her civilian outfit she's usually quite a bit more masculine another suit this outfit, okay, this outfit is iconic, okay and I was trying to find something similar obviously I found a bunch of images of like a big white shirt like a dress shirt or whatever here, there, everywhere it's not that difficult to find however, I did find it difficult to find an image of someone having a piece of fabric which I don't think this is specifically a bandana or something like that because there's no pattern on it it's just like a red piece of fabric however I feel like like I've seen people wear it like that in it, a few images you know yeah I even found a few images where people were wearing it like that but it was not on top of a shirt and it didn't look right even if I would show you an image that would kind of technically remind you of this it wouldn't look good at all because the fabrics were not right usually when I pick an image it's about the feeling of what it looks like and the silhouette and fabric more so than the colors and stuff like that and I just couldn't find anything that fit but I thought that I need to bring this outfit up because I absolutely love it I think it is so like it's so simple right it's just a big dress shirt and we see that all the time but this red fabric on the on the arm I don't know it just looks really cool I'm really into it I'm literally Ray in this situation just like so handsome <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I really think that it's funny the way that they would like introduce Haruka and Michiru in any scene and then talk about how pretty they are or something like that and then there would be like a still image that looks like it's um, painted. It's just one of those things that they do in the 90s anime that just it's kind of funny because it's so exaggerated but it's also really it's a pretty image anyway. There's also outfits like these where she's wearing like a sleeveless jean like a vest kind of. There's a couple of moments when she's wearing it except I guess the vest itself is different a little bit this one is a little bit ragged on the edges and the other one isn't but I it's, they're kind of in the same vein you know I would try to recreate all these outfits as closely as possible to the originals but there's like a few images that kind of have a similar vibe or a similar style that could work for her if she was in a live action something a little bit more casual like this with pants that are a little bit more high-waisted chill shirt that's open this suit it's a little bit too thick it's definitely like a winter kind of suit or for the colder months I would probably choose something that is not so heavy and as I said that I would always um, try to find fabric that kind of has this flow to it for example if this guy were to put his hand in his pocket at the same like spot where Haruka usually puts her hand in her pocket that the jacket kind of hangs on both sides it wouldn't look nice it would look bulky and it would look like the jacket is not supposed to be worn that way even though it's possible to do that it just wouldn't look good whereas if the fabric was really light would be better for that type of outfit have another suit that has more of that kind of material however she would definitely be wearing it without a belt also in terms of her blue coat that she's wearing it's kind of like this except just straight at the front no random fold or anything like that and not satin but I think that the color and the way that it's flowing kind of seems quite similar to this outfit that she wears it's a really long coat you can't tell in that image but basically that that blue coat is actually really really long so that's why I picked a really long one also I kind of thought that this image reminded me of her because I think this hair would suit her a lot if it was a live action right mm -hmm. I picked more suits for example like this this is a bit of a def uh, different feel than the other one that she usually wears with a black t-shirt I also thought that it would be interesting to have something like this like for special occasions if there's some kind of jewelry like this it would look really interesting too this suit reminds me of this suit that she wears and of course that's more of a homage to crystal let's move on to michiru michiru is very feminine hyper feminine in terms of her style she's also very elegant i know she reminds me of 1940s you know a lot of midi skirts that are kind of poofy have a lot of volume to them not in terms of having a lot of layers underneath it to be pushed up but just the way that the dress is constructed that the skirt itself is always in an a in a line here's a few images of her outfits a lot of dresses i would say that she mostly just wears dresses i don't think i've ever seen her wear anything else except yeah like a skirt and a and a shirt still kind of dress like in terms of silhouette right so this outfit for example this one here them matching see even if they're wearing something similar michiru will put belt on while haruka will wear something a little bit bigger in size rather than closer to the body and without accentuating the waist here you see again they're both wearing a jean vest kind of looking thing except one is definitely styled in a masculine way and the other one is in a very feminine way so for michiru i thought that it would be interesting to have dresses like these for example very feminine and flowy i really think that a lot of her dresses would look better if they have this kind of flowiness to them that alludes to also her powers that are related to water this top for example not for the see-through qualities as much but just bows and the lightness of the material the way that it looks very feminine and gentle it's interesting because she's quite cold in terms of her demeanor but she is hyper feminine in terms of her outfits and style this type of dress i also thought that something like this would look fantastic on her very silky just has this fluidity to it i put this suit here because it reminded me of her coat of course not in color but it doesn't really matter she wears blue as well having this type of like even if she's wearing something really thick and heavy like a autumn or winter jacket she will always go for something that is cinched 
at the waist so hyper feminine all the time that's what i meant by it reminding me of 1940s her style reminds me of the mid-century feminine aesthetics some early 20th century aesthetics as well like old hollywood outfits you know something like this reminds me of Michiru very much and for something a little bit more fancy even fancier than what they were doing because usually at events she would wear something that is like mid-length I would want to see her in more of a full-length gown because I think that she's kind of she fits that aesthetic really well so this is for our resident couple their dynamic is so fun i will talk about it in my retrospect video so let's talk about setsuna you know we only get like two or three outfits from her i believe this one is the one that she wears the most and there's another one that she wears later on here in the back you can see that it's kind of similar style except it is a pantsuit yeah it's kind of like this one this outfit literally looks like a butler outfit you know what i mean here is the same outfit but the jacket is exchanged for a coat so for setsuna i feel like we don't get a lot of examples of her wardrobe but from what i can tell i definitely think that something like this chanel outfit would work for her except maybe in a purple or berry color she goes for those colors more than she does for anything else blue is okay though too because she does wear some blue here and there it could be a little bit shorter like this it doesn't have to be a midi skirt because her skirt in this image is actually more of a mini skirt so this length could work as well and I've put also this type of outfit here it's a little bit revealing in terms of it not having a top under the under the blazer and um, Satsuna wouldn't really do that so I would say that just put like a white shirt under it like a very elaborate collar and that would be a good outfit for her and I also think that something along the lines of this outfit would work really well for her as well because it has a lot of structure and it still reminds me of her original outfit that she wears a lot and I feel like it would fit her personality quite a bit. I believe she's the oldest of the senshis and she is the most level-headed one and the most responsible one, definitely. Same thing for Hotaru. I think both of them are quite serious because they have the most difficult positions out of everyone. They have a very difficult task. Setsuna has to be alone all the time because she's guarding the door of time and space and Hotaru is basically a senshi that awakens only when there's literal apocalypse coming so <laughs> she's just not having a good time constantly reincarnating just too much too much work and for Hotaru she's you know she's kind of like a prep goth especially when she is still living with her dad before she had to be reincarnated again she definitely wears a lot of somber colors a lot of Peter Pan looking collars or or schoolgirl collars similar to what a preppy goth would wear you know what I mean but I also kind of think that this outfit which is very iconic people like I've seen this outfit before I even knew who she is because I didn't remember anything about Sailor Moon except for like a couple of things from my childhood she looks like she's wearing a ballet exercise uniform i mean the way that it's just it looks like a leotard with like a skirt on top or something like that it's very sleek and very minimal and it just reminds me of those outfits that's why i put this skirt here it's not the best image but this is the best one i could find because it's not that the material is actually this light and flowy it is just that the inspiration behind her outfits this one and this one after she reincarnated they definitely remind me of something that i was forced to wear for my dance classes when I was little you know it's really similar to that of course had to mention this discovery by the same I believe it's the same blog that person found a bunch of correlations between outfits and this one was one of them this is a correlation to this Mugler outfit which is it's literally the same top which I mean I love I love that there's so much Mugler inspiration in Sailor Moon because it just fits really well especially a lot of the pieces that are for evil characters there's a lot of inspiration to be pulled from Mugler in, in general General. I've also put a couple of things like this so this kind of black dress with this collar reminds me of a lot of things like this that she wears this type of outfit it's very similar you know yeah like colors like this a lot of black white I guess she wears a lot more color after she's reincarnated
animated again but she does wear quite a bit of black to compare to all the other characters to be honest like it's really noticeable in Sailor Moon world you know in our world you'd see a girl wearing all black you wouldn't be that surprised really but in Sailor Moon everyone's wearing so many colors that it's always surprising to see somebody wearing like a full black outfit let's move on to Spectre sisters with Spectre si sisters I'm not going to be covering their regular casual outfits that much because we only got a couple um, in the show and they are quite boring to be honest like just kind of really sleek I don't know it's very like classic and very simple just like for example a long skirt a sleeveless top they're in very simple colors like black and white for example here you can tell by what Koan wears they don't have a lot of variety in their civilian outfits later on in terms of differentiating them so I'm going to be talking about their black moon outfits I guess. We're gonna start with Calaveras. She's got this golden corset going on. This is an image from the like original Naoko's drawings. Um, there's also another parallel that the same blog found. I'm gonna link it again in the description, but we've talked about it in the part one too. They found this correlation with this runway outfit. The corset looks very, very similar. And also the hair with that golden bow at the back. Of course, the skirt is really short instead of a long skirt, but it's still interesting to see this outfit being so close because it's just cool to see them in real life rather than just kind of finding things that are kind of similar but not quite you know it's really cool i have also found some images like these i would say of course with the with the other image that's more um that's closer to the original this is not as close but it's still cool to think about what kind of jewelry and what kind of bows and stuff like that she could wear in her specter sister outfit because they are quite over the top and it's kind of cool because you can go to so many places with them it's really interesting moving on to koan koan absolutely iconic she's so pretty her hair is such an interesting look she literally looks like a cat because her ears oh not ears her hair <laughs> is shaped into little ear looking things and the most impressive thing about this this is again one of those outfits that's kind of everywhere because people were talking about how similar it is to a mugler outfit and you gotta see look at it the jewelry right here right and the outfit itself the outfit itself is like the same thing it, this is re literally real life koan and i i love it this looks so good this is first of all just 90s nuclear it's really that iconic it's just so good from a perspective of a person who is a visual artist more so than a person in fashion i'm i like talking about fashion obviously <laughs> based on my all of my videos but i like my my training is in art and this this shows from the 90s like 92 95 97 nuclear are literally art in clothes form it's not like something that's just cute or well tailored or just well done it's very innovative and it's fun to watch and it's unexpected and inspiring just watching one show it's on youtube by the way you can watch it god i like i love this this makes me so confused as to why we don't dress like this all the time just for the sake of it because life is boring and you have to kind of spice it up a little yourself you know in any case i just really love this outfit and i love how similar it is to koan it's just so great I love this hairstyle just so good with this big jewel <laughs> in the middle of her head love it so pets is the last one of the Spectre sisters with pets what I found interesting about her outfit she's wearing like pants she's got these gloves or whatever the most interesting parts of her outfit in my opinion is is the top of her bodice that has this kind of jewels that makes it look like it's um eyes let me move this right here right and also the feather back that she has um also kind of feels very unique to this character i f have put this outfit here not because it looks very similar to her but because i think that it's just another example of feathers being used in an interesting way because this one is more uh, is a bit closer because there's feathers at the back and it's more on the side it kind of looks a little bit more similar to what that is actually wearing but i just think that it's interesting to think about what is possible with the feathers and how it could look interesting beautiful and elegant instead of costumey and cheap you know like it could look so iconic even in real life even though it's been drawn pets is not a real person obviously but it is 
like really interesting to see that it could look very impressive and otherworldly in real life as well i just picked this dress this dress is definitely more butterfly inspired but i thought that once again this dress kind of shows the possibilities for pets's outfit and how luxurious it could look you don't have to compromise quality of the design to make something look realistic and otherworldly and luxurious at the same time do you know what i mean like there's so much so many possibilities so berthier i don't have a lot for her she just has this really short kind of outfit not short i guess it's just it's just like a, a bodysuit and the way that her gloves are constructed it reminds me of armor so that's why i picked this outfit not for the color just imagine this being silver i feel like it would look really good on this character if the color was changed to silver it would look very earthier and would fit with the grandness of all the other three sisters so we're done with the specter sisters now on to queen beryl with queen beryl i would genuinely just like recreate her jewels and whatever she's got really interesting jewelry that's really hard to to find a match for but like for her dress it just reminds me again of it's nuclear again the amount of nuclear that i have in this video is ridiculous it just reminds me of this type of dress this one as well something with a similar cut would look really good there's so many outfits from this brand could work for characters from sailor moon mostly of course because a lot of them were actually inspired by those outfits but still it's quite fun anyway and the last one we're going to be talking about today is seiya um i'm not talking about taiki and the other one <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the screen. I always forget names, I'm sorry. Because they do, when the other two guys get outfits, they're usually matched with Seiya because they're usually, it's like a either stage outfit or something like that, or it's an, um, a workout outfit or whatever. They don't really get a lot of outfits outside of those like suits that they have matching so anything that goes for Seiya could go for the other two guys if you change the colors or something like that because they match each other a lot except for a lot of street style kind of stuff that he wears he she whatever you want because in in the manga in case you don't know Seiya is female the entire time just dresses in disguise as a male on earth in the anime however she actually transforms into a man whenever actually wait Say it is a he unless he is in starlight form, in starfighter form, then he's a she. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use random pronouns. Both are true. They kind of talk about him as like this, like, like him having a bad boy style. It's a little bit confusing because I wouldn't say that he has a bad boy style because like here, for example, in this image, it kind of makes more sense because it has a little bit of that edge, but the colors are really extremely bright, which kind of puts it into more experimental street style wear like for example this is an image of the same outfit it's bright red bright green bright orange bright pink all together <laughs> which is like i don't mind it i love color and i love color to the extreme but his style is quite all over the place like for example here's an outfit that he mostly wears for his performances because they match they match like suits and whatever as like a as a band it's basically an like idol group or something for example even though he wears this i wouldn't say that it's his style per se because because whenever he's not in the band he wears very different things so for example also they, they wear a different uniform when they're at school which i don't understand because i know they're celebrities or whatever but i feel like they wouldn't be allowed to do that at school don't you think like if you have a uniform at school i don't think that anyone's gonna let you just not wear it and wear a different type of uniform like they are matching they're wearing this uniform at school specifically for school so i don't know <laughs> i don't know why that is but another outfit right here with a snapback he wears his um crescent moon earrings all the time everything else changes like for example this outfit is very street style really big oversized shirt with some writing here and there really big pants a snapback just reminds me of american street style kind of you know what i mean this outfit i don't know why this was a thing because it's not that i don't like it i don't really i don't really care <laughs> to be honest this outfit is kind of just like meh for me except for the crop top i really love crop tops the bottom i don't like speedos just don't vibe with them so it's a little bit strange that it's like on top and this is very 80s it reminds me of you know those outfits and workout videos or whatever and i feel like it's just a little bit strange to see that because a fifth season was 
been made in 97 so it seems a little bit strange that they have such a aggressively 80s outfit <laughs> i mean who cares it's just one of those outfits you know then i have this image from the manga to show them singing or whatever on stage there's this last one where he's kind of wearing like a tracksuit looking thing so for that outfit for this 41 i put this image here because the colors matched quite a bit it's a little bit too black i would say that it needs to be a little bit more leaning towards bright colors i think that he would wear something like this for like a casual day something really bright i would say that maybe the pants would also be really bright he just really likes these colors you know i thought that this image was interesting because of the stripes how big they are and it reminded me of this outfit that he wore on a date with Usagi date <laughs> and the reason why I showed you this image is because it reminded me he is wearing the suit for the performance which we can assume that it's red based on the 90s anime because I have this image of Harry that kind of reminds me of it and you know what <laughs> at first I was like well Harry looks nothing like Seiya but then the more I was looking at outfits like this i thought you know what it works quite a bit to get the message across it's just something about him reminds me of that and then i saw this image of a frat boy era of harry which reminded me of this snapback that seiya wears whenever he wears this outfit seiya is harry styles and harry styles is seiya 2021 campaign <laughs> and i also put i don't know i just saw this and i thought this is something seiya would wear it just seems like he'd be into experimenting with his hair the bright colors a little bit of a streetwear edge, big pants. Yeah, I just thought it was cute, so I put it here. <laughs> it's a really hard to pin Seiya down in terms of style, I would say. It's hard to just kind of go, okay, this is what Seiya wears for sure, and this is what he doesn't wear. I would say that he would never be boring in either male or female form, but definitely for styling that I kind of took from the 90s anime, I would say that really loud, bright colors and a lot of colors in one outfit would definitely be a safe a safe bet with him. Just mixing a bunch of random things together would look really good. He's He gives me an Aquarius energy. Like having both, being both male and female, wearing really revealing outfits in one place and wearing something really loud and oversized the next moment. Very much Aquarius energy, don't you think? Very alien. This is the styling, the second part styling for Sailor Moon. I am going to be back with another Sailor Moon video when I'm done watching this show. I think I only have like 20 episodes left. It's a really interesting show in terms of fashion and in terms of the, a lot of other things that we will talk about later in the retrospect video where I'm gonna address a bunch of random things and I'm gonna be working on another styling video that's not gonna be related to Sailor Moon next. Thank you for watching. Bye!